Let's do our warm ups first and just a nice gentle practice today. Spread your toes, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Activate your core to support your spine and bring those shoulders back and down. And then reach your crown up toward the ceiling. Feel that spine lengthen. Inhaling, bring your arms up to shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, bring your hands to your chest, elbows back. Keep that heart open. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently interlace the fingers and press them down as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back and breathe. And then as you exhale, pivot at your hips. Come on as deep as you'd like today. Hands up toward the ceiling. Move your chin around. Let that neck release a little bit. And then bending your knees slightly. Drop your sitting bones. Lift your ribs and wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up. And lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Spread your toes out. And come into the upper body for a little back bend. Feel that heart opening, feel that spine stretching even while it back bends. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just feeling a little more warmth in circulation. And again, inhale, arms are reaching out, shoulders down. Bend your elbows, heart hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So interlace the fingers the other direction. And again, stretch your head back and pivot at your hips over. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Stretch your spine. Breathe deep. Exhale, tension. And once more. Slowly work from the bottom of the spine all the way back up. And again, another gentle back bend, lifting your heart. Take a few breaths, just relax into the back bend. Inhale upright, release your arms. Just take a moment feeling what's going on internally. As you get ready and inhale your arms out again. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them and clasp the hands and bring your arms next to your ears. Keep everything facing the front and lean to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Reach out from your hands and sink into the opposite foot. Take a moment and breathe as those ribs stretch apart, spine moving sideways. And then inhale to the center, keep the shoulders down and switch your other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, no leaning forward as you lean to the opposite side. And again, feel the ribs stretch and the foot press down as you lean away from it, increasing that rib opening. Take a breath or two, relaxing into that. Inhale back upright. Shoulders are down as you bring your arms out and all the way to the floor. Take a moment, just feeling the sides and everything stretched a little bit more open. Time for our twists. So remember, base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart for this one. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, as always, bring the arms back by your ears. Sitting bones down, spine stretching apart, and exhale to twist either direction. Take a breath in, keep the arms by your ears, keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can as you come all the way down in the twist. And again, go as deeply as you'd like, feel that whole spine working, and don't forget to breathe. And then keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, work your way up in the twist and into the upper body only for your back bend. This time, remember, shoulders are down, elbows back, chest high, and no pressure in your lower back. Take a breath or two, just sink evenly into your feet. And again, inhaling, come up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch it apart and 
twist to the other side. Another breath, and as you exhale, just come on over in the twist. And again, hang as deeply as you'd like, letting things release and relax as much as is okay for you today. Arms still by your ears, weight on both feet evenly. And then inhaling once more, work your way up into that upper body back bend. Chest high and breathe. Remember, never overdo that lower back when you're twisting. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips reaching toward the ceiling. Feel your whole body sink evenly into your feet. And then swan dive, so arms at shoulder level, chest leading, and come parallel to the floor, stretching it out, and then drop into ragdoll, just hanging however feels okay for you today. Pull in deeper if you love it, hands behind your legs or not, always a choice. And then arms back to the center, and knees slightly bent to find your way all the way back. Once more, shoulders back and down, coming into mountain pose. As you get back into your standing position, just notice your spine and how much warmer everything is in your body today. Spread your toes, sink into your sitting bones, up through the crown. Just take a moment breathing and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, another little back bend. And lift your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart again. Pivot over, ragdoll one more time. And then slide your hands under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Just lengthen your spine. Elbows, knees, spine are straight. And then back into ragdoll, just Hands together, inhaling, one more back bend as we come hands toward the ceiling and thumbs slightly behind you. Just lift your heart, stretch everything through the top of your head. And then exhaling into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling a little bit more energized, and let's step wide. As you come into your Legs separated position, just sink evenly into your feet, toes straight ahead. We'll do a triangle, so working the hips a little bit. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, keep the shoulders down. And we'll turn one foot all the way to the side, but keep the hips and shoulders facing the same direction they started. Heel back, toes forward on that foot behind you. Remember, knee always goes the same direction as your toes but keep both knees straight. Hip joint at the front of the thigh is your pivot point and push to the side as far as you want to go. Everything still facing the front, this back hip pulling back, and then turning the palms to the front, pivot. One hand coming as far down as it wants, the other one going straight across from it. So you may stop there or you may pivot further, May reach the floor, but it's not necessary because you're not putting pressure in that hand. Arm up toward the ceiling, spine stretching apart. Keep that hip pulling back that's above, and hips and shoulders facing still to the side of the mat. Stretch out through the top of your head. Keep breathing. Keep the weight in both feet. Keep the knees straight. And then pivot, leading with that hand in the air back up. Shoulders are down, turn the palms to the floor and the feet to the front into your star position, stretching it out. And then release your hands. Take a moment, feel your shoulders, feel your hips, feel your spine, and notice what's going on internally. Remember to breathe. And of course, we always balance the body, so we're going to triangle to the other side. Sink evenly into those feet, arms at shoulder level, shoulders stay toward your waist. Turn the foot all the way to the side, but not your hips, not your body. Heel back, toes forward. Again, everything's still facing the same direction. Knees stay straight, evenly spreading your toes, sinking into your feet, 
hip joint is your focus. Push to the side, push as far as you want. Remember, don't lean forward. Palms to the front, and again, just pivot. So that upper body is moving all together as one arm comes down and the other one stays straight across from you. Take a breath, sink evenly into your feet and stretch out through the crown. So the sitting bones and crown go away from each other and you're breathing, remembering not to put pressure in that hand that's down, maybe on your leg or floor or foot or it may still be in the air. Either way, it's okay. It's a triangle. Hip back, shoulders open, hands right across from each other. Stretch it out through the head and back through the sitting bones. Take a breath. And inhale it. Come on back, pivoting up, palms toward the floor, feet to the front. Energize that star out from your heart through all five points. And release your arms and step back into mountain pose. Take a moment there to sink evenly into the ball of the foot area and heels. Feel your body. Exhale any tension. And then hands to your heart. Inhale toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs and lift your heart into the back bend. Again, exhale and come on over all the way and drag down. One more halfway up stretch, hands under your knees, on your shins, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Bend your knees, come to the floor, and sink into child pose for our transition. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up at your feet, and forehead toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel that spine stretching open and relax. On an inhalation, come on up and slide off into staff position, feet out to the front. So feet are hip width apart, those heels pushing out, sitting bones slightly behind you. Remember, you can raise them with a little padding behind you if you need to. Core activated, everything aligned through your spine. And we'll warm up our hip joints for a bit. So bring one foot up toward your thigh, knee coming down. And as always, don't push on the knee. If you add your hands, just add a little weight and that'll help that hip joint work a little bit more if you want it to. If you don't, bring this foot over to the side and just let it ease down a little bit easier for you. Take a moment and breathe. Do what's right for your body, exhaling any tension. Knee coming toward the floor only as far as it wants to do. Remember, be gentle with your hip if you need to. And as it gets to its maximum point, just relax, let it happen, never force it. And when you're ready, bringing your knee and ankle into your hands or wrapping your arms around, rotate side to side. So getting that outside of your hip rotator joint working a little bit more bringing it across as much as it wants to go. As it gets more lubricated, because there's fluid in that joint, if it's working correctly, you'll feel it easier. And you may bring your foot higher or closer if you want it more intense. But remember, personal practice, do what's right for your body. Keep those shoulders right over your hips and just rotating side to side at your own pace. And then releasing that foot back to the center into staff position, feel the difference in the two sides. So yeah, we got to balance the body. So bring that other foot up. Again, <clears throat> let the knee come down as much as it wants. A little weight if you want, but no pressure. Pressure resists and that makes it harder. Allow the knee and toes on that extended leg to stay upright or bring them still up right over to the side if you like that hip to have a little bit easier time with its opening. Take a moment and breathe. Exhaling any tension, just letting things release and relax as that knee comes more down as much as it wants. Remember, if you've got a tight joint, you may find the knee is up. That's okay. Do what's right for your body. 
And as always, just relax, let it happen, jump force it. When you're ready to move side to side, hands on the knee and the ankle, or pulling the leg in a little closer with the arms wrapped. And again, keep the spine straight and just rotate side to side as much as it feels okay in this outside of the hip. If it's feeling good and you love it, you can be more intense or not. Always personal practice. And then again, exhale and release. So back in staff position, feel those hips a little bit more warmed up, hopefully evenly. And let's do our butterfly. So bring the feet together and knees out toward the sides. Push those sitting bones slightly further behind you, getting that hip area opening a little bit more as you're in that position. You can clasp your hands under your toes and pull the knees or heels in closer, knees going further out if you feel that's comfortable. So take a moment there, just relaxing inner thighs and legs. Shoulders relaxing down, not pulling forward. Remember, keep the shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. And then bring the hands right behind you under your shoulders, fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. And just a little pressure into them so you feel a little bit different motion and activity through those inner thighs and legs. Take a breath. Exhale, let it relax. Remember, the knees may never make it to the floor. They may be up. That's okay. Just wherever they go. And some days may be different. Some days may be easier. Some days more, may be more challenging. If you've got an injury, honor it. Don't go too far. Because what you used to do may not be what you can do anymore. That's okay. And then releasing your hands back to the front. Slide your legs out just a little bit. Slip your hands under and hold your ankles. We're gonna roll back on the sitting bones, not your sacrum, and bring the feet off the floor. Finding a little balance today. So just letting those knees moving out toward the sides, feet slightly off the floor, and you're still on your sitting bones. Spine is still straight. Remember that core is activated, supporting your lower back, not slumping forward. Shoulders back and down. Take a moment and breathe. Feel what's going on. If that's working for you and you want to change it a little bit, you can release your hands and hold your toes and still feel the balance. Remember, if you need to sit upright and put your feet down at any point, you can do that and then come back into your balance. Stay on the sitting bones, not rolling back because you'll lose your balance then. If that's working for you, you can bring your feet a little higher and see if that's still working for you, finding your balance today. If that's working for you, you can separate your feet. You can bring them out as far as straight if that's working for you. We used to call this the egg position for some reason when we were in gym class in elementary school. So I guess our egg is bursting open at this point. And then exhaling, bring those feet back together. Lift those knees and curl in in a little egg-shaped ball. Maybe this is the source of that egg position title. And then rolling slightly forward, bring your feet to the floor and just hug them into you. Keep one arm around, <clears throat> bring the other arm out. Stretch your spine apart and rotate into the twist. So you can have those feet as close or not close as your body likes. And just bring that hand around, and as it gets to the back, drop it close to your body on the floor. Stretch up from the sitting bones out through the crown, and then turn your whole body. And you can move one hip slightly off the floor so you can keep that whole motion turning. Hips, ribs, and shoulder going into that twist. Take a breath. Just relax into it as deeply as you like. And then sitting bones down, bring the hand back up, follow it back around, and give yourself a nice hug once more with both arms. And then releasing that opposite arm, stretching up through your spine, exhale, follow it around to twist. 
Again, bring that hand to the floor as close to your body as it wants to go today. Sitting bones stretching up through the crown and turning into your twist even deeper. So remember, don't keep both sitting bones planted. That's too, too stressful on your lower back and belly. Let one come up as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder into your twist. Take a breath. Exhale and release any tension. And then again, sitting bones down, hand coming up, rotate back around to the center. And one more good hug through the back. Bring your forehead down towards your knees. And then inhaling, sit up and bring your legs back out into staff position. Notice how your body is feeling. Stretch your spine apart. And then bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones slightly behind you, remember, press out through your heels, toes pulling back, core activated, and slowly roll all the way down. As you get to the floor, just take a moment and relax, shoulders toward the floor. Exhale any stress or tension, let your whole body just sink, belly soft toes toward each other and then slightly apart, hands, palms up. Let those shoulders sink down toward the floor. Take a breath, just relaxing. Let everything release and relax. Deep breath in, exhale. Let everything sink into that surface beneath you. So just a little longer relaxation today. We're going to do a guided relaxation. So begin at the bottom of your feet. Crunch your toes together, your arch together. Feel those feet tighten, tighten, tighten. Take a breath and hold it for a moment. Tighten those toes and feet. And as you exhale, let the toes just relax and release. And then... Taking your awareness to your calves and lower legs, just tighten them, tighten the legs, tighten the calves, feel that tightness in that lower leg area. Tighten it a little bit more and hold your breath there. And as you exhale, let the legs go. Feel the whole legs just soften and sink. And then tighten your whole legs through the thighs, through the hips. Tighten that whole lower body, scrunching your toes, tightening your calves, tightening your thighs, tightening that whole hip and buttock area. Tighten that whole lower body. And then exhale, let it go. Feel that whole lower body just soften even more. And then notice your torso. Crunch your torso together, bring the ribs in, just gently feel that crunch through the chest as well. Take a moment to breathe and hold that all in. And then exhale, release the torso. Take your thumbs into your palms and wrap your fingers around in a gentle fist. And then tighten that fist tight, tight, tight. Tighten all the way up through your lower arms, elbows, arms, and shoulders. Feel that whole arm area tightening, tightening, tightening. Hold it with the breath. Tighten it a little more with the breath. And as you exhale, let it go. Soften the hands and the arms and the shoulders. Take a moment to breathe. Let everything release. And then scrunch your face together. Make a face really tightening all through the face and jaw. Clench your jaw together. Bring your brows together. Feel your scalp even tightening, tightening, tightening. Your whole head tightening. Hold it with the breath. Keep tightening. Arms, eyes, everything. Let it go. 
And then one more tight. You want to tighten the whole body. So scrunching your toes, your legs, your hips, your belly, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, everything tense, even your jaw and your face. Tighten your whole body. Hold it with the breath. Keep holding it. Tighten more. Exhale, let it go. And just let your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breath in, exhale. Body heavy, just sinking into that earth support. Let it go. Breathing, just softening everything. Exhaling any tightness, any tension, just let it release completely. As your body softens and sinks, just let any thoughts of your body release from your awareness, just letting everything naturally deepen into that earth support. Let it go. And as those thoughts of your body release from your awareness, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to think about your body or anything else. The content of the thoughts is unneeded. Let it float away unnoticed. And just allow your awareness to turn inward. Allow the body to soften and sink and the mind to ease and float. No need to pay attention to anything but that peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind only with peace. Taking a few moments just to be peace. And if you feel super relaxed today, just keep releasing and relaxing as long as you can time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin gently drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to your body, to the room. And as you breathe more fully, just begin gently moving your body, moving your ankles and feet, fingers and hands, arms and legs. And as you breathe more fully, just begin stretching more completely whenever you are ready to do so. And if you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels up towards your hips, and knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative Yoga hug, however feels good for you today. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.